I am blessed coming in. I am blessed going out. I am no longer a hostage to my past. I will walk in victory. I shall lend and not borrow. I am the head, not the tail. I speak life into my family. I speak peace to my situation. I speak healing to my body. I speak total restoration. I will walk in my apostolic authority. I will live holy. God. So that men will see the light. Through the abundance of God's grace. I have received the gift of righteousness. For I am the righteousness of God by Christ Jesus. So today, I will renounce the spirit of heaviness and put on the garment of praise so that he may be glorified. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. I will lift up my hands praises and adoration in his glorious name. For he is worthy of all glory and honor. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. You are Alpha and Omega Wow. 
without further ado, somebody say, I want to hear the word of God. I came with expectancy. Hallelujah. I come with victory in my spirit. Hallelujah. And the word of God is here to plant the seed so it can grow. Hallelujah. Throughout the week. I know I need it. Hallelujah. Somebody other than say, I need the word. Hallelujah. And the word will change my life. It has changed my life. And at this time, we're ready to receive the word of God. Let's receive District Elder Forrest A. Fikes the first with the word of God. Somebody point to him and say, preach the word. Preach the word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord to everyone. Come on, let's stand on your feet. Let's give God some glory. This is his house. This is God's house. Amen. He deserves it. There's a song that says, he deserves yes. it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am just so thankful to be in the land of the living today. And I give honor to God and to uh, my lovely wife, First Lady, yes. Valerie Fikes, yes. and to all the elders and the ministers here and Deacon and his lovely family and all of you, the saints of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Just take a moment and shake somebody's hand. We, we don't do that often. We need to shake somebody's hand. Amen. Right. Maybe you can shake some, some, some wealth in their life or blessings or something. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. I want to know Amen. those who labor among you. Amen. Hallelujah. So much going on. Maybe tell them to pray for you. Pray for me. I don't know who you are, but pray for me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we got that over with. <laughs> Amen. And uh, so we're thankful to God today. Now, there's a lot of things that are happening uh, in our lives and in our family's lives. And, and uh, we need someone greater than us. Amen. Amen. I'm going to make that clear. That you can't achieve greatness by yourself. And so we need to know that if you want to excel in God, get with some seasoned saints. Get with some, 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 uh, Fearing God, fearing people who uh, keeps the commandments of God. It says here that evil communication corrupts good manners. How can two walk together except they agree? Now listen to what I'm saying. You see what's going on is that there's a conflict that's going on. There's a, there's a spirit that wants to be uh, uh, not accountable mm -hmm. Amen. to God. And then there's a spirit that says that uh, we need to reset mm -hmm. our spirit with God. Now who's going to win? That's a question that only you can answer. But I heard somebody say, as for me in my house, mm -hmm. I wish I had some help here, but Amen. I'm going to call on the angels. As for me in my house, we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to serve the Lord. Now, now, when you serve him, I heard somebody say today, when you serve God, you serve Him with all your heart, all your mind, and all of your strength. And that's just about everything I got. Amen. Now, I'm looking for results. That's right. See, we can't, see, we can't have a, we can't be part-time lovers with a full-time God. He don't deal with part-time. Mm -hmm. He want all of me. 
and he wants all of you. Now, with that being said, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Have we given him? I'm talking about God now. Have we given him all of everything that we have within us? The only results that you get is every now and then. Um, so, um, I'm just advising you today that if you want something from God, he has to equally get something from you. Amen. He has to equally get something from you. Amen. Now, I've learned that over the years of my experience, and I've learned that who can counsel God? Hmm. This God can take dust out of the earth and form man. And then, in addition to that, breathe the breath of life into his nostrils. And he becomes a living soul. Who can counsel God? And so, uh, it is imperative that we uh, understand how great this God is who hung stars on nothing, who told the sun to um, obey the day, have rule over the day, and the moon over the night. Yes. They're still obeying God. Still today. Um, he knows the, 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 the measures of sand on the seashore. Mm -hmm. I was at a beach in San Diego Ago, yesterday. And uh, uh, my grandson and I were walking along the beach and uh, I looked at the, 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 the sand in the shore and I looked at, I tried to see the grain in the shore. Hmm. I said, this God that I serve knows the number of grains. Yes. In that shore. My God. Yet we still don't understand him. We should understand him by the things that he created. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. No man <laughs> has ever created the mountains that are 25 and 30 feet, a uh, thousand feet in elevation. No man has took a sea and caused it to congeal. And that men and women pass through that sea on dry land. Mm -hmm. Eyes haven't seen. Neither have ears heard. Neither has it entered into the hearts of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. You know, I, I, I would just like to know the heart of God. His heart. And so, uh, these scriptures were, were written by men inspired by God. Mm -hmm. Listen, we should be inspired by God yes, yes. to read these scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. And so today I just want to bring to you some things I, that I've been 
reading on today and uh, it comes to mind, I thought about a couple of things and I'll convey they, them to you today. Uh, let us go to uh, the book of Judges. The book of Judges. Uh, perhaps uh, six chapter Lady Franks and, and uh, you're going to be do, doing a lot of reading in the seventh chapter as well. Uh, <clears throat> before she, that's Lady Franks, who will read for us today, um, we're in a position, uh, well, let me say this, Israel is in a position, uh, sometimes like ours, and uh, uh, they're uh, in this struggle. It's always a struggle when you don't obey God. Help me, Jesus. It's always a struggle when you don't obey God. And in this time, um, there was a man named Gideon uh, who, in fact, uh, was able to uh, cause a people to uh, do the right thing. Mm -hmm. uh, he was an authority to settle disputes. Now, <laughs> we, it's kind of like a parallel because we should be peacemakers. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 Not truth breakers. We should be peacemakers. Seek peace with all diligence. Now, I'm, I'm already hitting home. That, that was a home run right there. <laughs> and so this Gideon, who uh, was like a judge because he was a moral authority, and he settled uh, disputes. And uh, he was one of the, I think, uh, the most outstanding of judges, uh, the book says. And uh, uh, he had an enemy. And uh, his purpose as being a judge was to Israel a military commander. He was a military commander. Uh, God called him to, to police the freedom of Israel. And uh, uh, he uh, uh, was a time, it was a time when Joshua uh, was invaded by a terrorist group called the Midianites. And oh my God, it was a terrible situation. Uh, uh, God was angry at uh, Israel because they began to worship the creation more than the creator. They began to worship idol gods and, and uh, they began to uh, uh, allow these things to enter into their, uh, their uh, uh, way of worship. Mm -hmm. See, we can't, we can't allow these things to enter into our uh, way of worship and cause us not to worship God in spirit and in truth. My subject today, my subject today is the sight, the sight of the Lord. The sight of the Lord. The sight of the Lord. And if I had a, another subtopic, it would be Thou shalt live and not die. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt live and not die. But we can't, we can't move out of the sight of God. Sometimes we say, well, we'll just do it under the cover. But God can see you in and, the, in and out of the cover. Right. <laughs> He's an all-seeing God. You know, uh, the other day I was uh, I was on TikTok. <laughs> say, what you say, Pastor Fikes? I was on TikTok. And I saw some things. I saw 
loss of people. And I saw what they were doing. And I saw and I heard what they were saying. See, that TikTok is something else. And I know a lot of folks think that uh, pastors don't know much. But I'm the watchman on the wall. Hallelujah. I'm a watchman. And I see. And I hear. But this God that I serve sees everything mm -hmm. and everybody. He don't see the outward appearance. He sees your heart. I wish somebody talked to me. He, he don't worry about the outward appearance. He don't care what you got on most of the time. <laughs> but the heart is deceitful. And above all, desperately wicked. You see, it is the heart that God sees. And that was the struggle with Israel. The heart of Israel began to backslide. Hallelujah. Began to worship the creation more than the creator. Uh -huh. I'm going to take my time this morning. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, Gideon uh, had a call one night. You know, uh, we, we say we see angels, but they never say nothing. <laughs> but in this case, uh, the angel came to Gideon. And said, listen, we need you to free the Israelites mm -hmm. and bring them back to God. Amen. Amen. And so this, this, this judge, this Gideon, this, this moral uh, authority uh, that God chose to bring Israel back into a setting with God. There, there's times when we got to reset. Yes. I, my Lord. There's times when you got to look at yourself and say, Self, I got to reset. My God. Yes, Lord. The sight of the Lord is watching me. And he's saying, that it's not my will that anybody should perish. Mm -hmm. It's not my will. It's not the will that God sends men and women, boys and girls, to hell. True. He said, but to come all unto repentance. Yeah. He said, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves, pray. Turn from their wicked ways. He said, now listen, this is what I'll do for you. I'll heal your land and I'll forgive you your sins. See, you've got to keep your end of the bar. Come on, church. Say amen or something. You've got to keep your end of the bargain. Because we're in the sight of the Lord. Amen. And he is seen to live and not die. Oh, Gideon was struggling. He was struggling because he knew that uh, there was an enemy that was trying to kill off the Israelites. He, 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 was, being, he was being warred against on two or three sides. Have you ever been in a situation where today there's something wrong, tomorrow there's another situation, and then the next day everything blows up? My God. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. Let the weak say I'm strong. And let the strong bear the infirmities of the weak. See, out of the bundles of the mouth, the heart speaketh. And as a man saith in his own heart, so is he. He needed a sign. A lot of times we, 
We ask God to give us a sign. And so God said, well, the angel told him, prepare a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes we got to prepare sacrifices. Yes. Sometimes we got to push away the plate. Yes, yes. Uh, and then turn off the, the TikTok and the Facebook yes. and the, the what is Instagram and all the rest of that mess. Amen. Yeah. And seek God. Yeah. Yeah. Seek his face. Yeah. While he might be found, seek him. Yes. Go after him. Yes. Lord, where are you? Where are you Lord? I need you right now. Hallelujah. And so we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable yes. to God, which is our reasonable service. Yes. It's just reasonable. That we present our bodies reasonable. And so the angel spoke to Gideon and said, Make a sacrifice. And Gideon took the sacrifice and he he laid it out. And in the morning, the ground around his sacrifice was soaking wet. And the sacrifice that he laid before God was bone dry. Hallelujah, hallelujah. See, we, 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 we need to know that, that God is speaking to our hearing. We, we, we have to put out there something and say, Lord, give me a sign. Hallelujah. Give me a sign. Jesus. And so, because he was fighting against these crazy Midianites and, and, uh, uh, and, and how they would come up in the valley where he was and they would uh, just uh, destroy all the crop and, and take all the land and, 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 and burn down all the houses. The Bible said they were like locusts. Have you ever been in a narrative where the enemy seemed like a locust, where he would just consume everything that was yours. Amen. But I got news for you. And when you get it like the Bible says, you can go to the enemy's camp and you can say, I demand that you, that you give me back what you stole. Because he goes to kill, steal, and destroy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he needed that sign. We, we need a sign, church. We, we need to know that God is on our side. And, and so he gave another sacrifice to God. See, you can't just stop at one. All right. You may have to go the distance. You may have to go twice to God. That's right. Hmm. And in this time, the sacrifice was soaked and wet. And the ground around it was bone dry. He said, now, uh, now I can fight. Yes. Now I'm ready. And so he got together the tribes in his neighborhood. And uh, Manasseh and uh, uh, his tribe, uh, I believe. Uh, and uh, there was one more, the uh, uh, the ones that lived in Jezreel uh, Valley and uh, uh, they were at this place called Shimshet. And uh, uh, they were beginning to uh, uh, come together. He began to call all these tribes because you see, he thought that he needed 32,000 people to fight this battle. He thought that if he had the majority of these people, that he could win. Let me tell you something. One God can chase. One can chase a thousand, and God could put ten thousand to flight. Let me tell you something. Who could be against you when God is for you? I, 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 I'm trying to get you to see. That God was trying to get the glory. And so when he was telling uh, Gideon, listen, man, I got, I got 
this. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was telling him, I got this. And, and, and so uh, Gideon began to uh, look around and he said to himself, he said, I'm not sure we need 32,000 uh, men to fight this battle. Hmm. It was a struggle. It was a struggle. And this Gideon, a leader and considered a judge, was able to uh, uh, resolve disputes. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a, a captain. Uh, he was the most outstanding of the five judges that were in the history of Israel. And he said, he fought the Midianites. Mm. Men that were lean and hungry and they were a nomadic tribe mm. that roamed the uncharted wastelands of Arabia. Mm. They came at him like locusts. Mm. But God told him, there's a ram in the bush. Mm. You don't have to worry about the number, uh, Gideon, because I got this. Mm. <laughs> and uh, the 32,000 men mustered at the spring of Herod. They were at that foot of Mount uh, Gilboa, mm -hmm. south of the uh, Jerry uh, Valley, and the Midianite camps were a few miles across the valley, and Gideon set about reducing. See, sometimes, listen to this, sometimes you got to reduce the number in order to gain the victory. Yeah. I'm going to say it one more time. God is taking the weeds out the garden. He's separating the sheep from the goat. The wheat from the tail. And he began to reduce the number. Uh, sometimes God will reduce the number to get the glory. We think sometimes we need numbers to be victorious. No, you need people of God to fear God. You need people that were born again of the water and the spirit. You need people with the Holy Ghost. With the evidence of speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God gives others. That's what you need. Not 32,000 castaways. Hey man, and I'm going to tell you something here. He reduced the number drastically. Yes, he did. Lord wanted to realize the victory will be gained by his strength and not their own strength of numbers. See, sometimes God wants the victory. Amen. And he said, I'm not going to share my glory with nobody. Come on, church. It's in the book. And he went on to say, actually, that Gideon's own army tactics called for a small mobile pit force rather than an unwilding mass of men. In other words, what he had to do was to reduce, not gain, not increase, but to reduce. And sometimes God says, I want you to reduce, not increase, but reduce. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So I can get the glory. Yes. It's not by numbers, church. If it was by numbers, Israel wouldn't be great. True. Because Israel was a small nation. Small nation. Uh, numbers like 144,000. But it was victorious on three or four sides. Three or four fronts, they were victorious. Now this is the case now. Let me tell you what happens here. God sent the Midianites to overtake Israel because of their sin. Uh, I'm going to be bold and say this. God will send an enemy. 
He will send the enemy because you were disobedient. Yeah. My Lord. And everything you touch will turn to salt. Mm -hmm. That's what he did. He sent the Midianites to spank Israel's. <laughs> you didn't get that on. It's a TikTok. But then, but then, he went and he took Israel and he told him, he said, look, when you get on your horse, I want you to take a pot mm -hmm. and I want you to take a trumpet. Mm -hmm. Now this was down to about 300 of them. But before you do that, I want to take you to the brook. There was a brook there. There was a, 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 a body of water. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, I'm going to know who's who because uh, uh, of what they do at the brook. Mm -hmm. See, God knows who's who because we're in the sight of the Lord. Yeah. He said, now, those who, he talking to Gideon now, he said, for those who, who lay down on their belly mm -hmm. and they cut their hands like a dog, and they began to lap the water like a dog. Those are the people. Those are the men that I want you to fight the battle with. <sighs> Amazing. Those who lap water like a dog. And he told the rest of them, all you that fear, go home. Go home. God don't need you. Go home. But I want those who lap water like a dog to fight my battle. You see, you got to hang in here. Amen. Uh, he wants some soldiers. soldiers. He's raising up some soldiers. He's, he, there's no coward people in the an army of the Lord. He's raising up an army. When I see that little boy praising God with his tambourine, he's raising up an army. He's raising up baptized believers, people who fear the Lord. And he told him, he said, for those who are lapping this water like a dog, those are the ones that I want to fight my battle. And Gideon began to do so. He told him, he said, get a trumpet. All 300 of you, get a chopper. And I want the 100 of you on this side, and I want a 100 of you on this side, and I want a 100 of you on, of, of you on that side. He said, now when I get the signal, see, you got to have the signal. He said, when I get the signal, I want everybody to come to, a, to the point where they blow the trumpet and they, and they take the picture with the torch in it and bust the picture on the ground. That's some crazy stuff. But that's bad. Yeah. Hey man, and, and, and they began to get on the horses. They, they began to ride down and, and, and the hunter was on this side and the hunter was on that side and the hunter was on that side and they began to converge on the enemy. Mm. Do you know what happened? Mm. The enemy began to be confused and they began to fight one another and they began to That's what they did. 300 people. Yes. 300 men of God. Mm -hmm. Out of 32,000. Fought. On three fronts. And destroyed their enemy. Mm -hmm. See, it's time for us to destroy. Amen. Hallelujah. Our enemy. It's time for us not to compromise Amen. with the enemy. It's not time for us to sleep with the enemy. Amen. It's time to destroy the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's time to destroy them with everything you got. Yeah. It was a happy 
in me. Thank you, Lord. Because God got the glory. Yes. True. Yes, sir. He said, I fought your battles. He said, victory, victory shall be mine. Yes, sir. If I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battles, victory, victory shall be mine. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You don't need a host of people to fight your battle. All you need is a dose of the Holy Ghost. You know, I had a subject title. And it was, Don't Know One Monkey and Stop the Show. Don't know one monkey stop the show. All you got to do is hear from God. Yes. All you have to do is make the sacrifice before yes. God. Yes. Lay out before God. Yes. Push away the plate. Yes. Come on, fast and pray. Amen. Until Amen. something happens. Amen. Don't get down there for two minutes like sometimes we want instant this and instant that. We get down for two minutes and now we can't pray for two minutes? Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Not with God. No, with you. Yes. And so he heard from the angel that spoke to his heart. Not some of these angels that don't speak. But this one spoke and told him, gave him instructions in order to deliver God's people. Yeah. See, that's when, it, that's when you're edifying the body and perfecting the saints. When you uh, tell them how to live holy, when you tell them how to become victorious yeah. in their lives. Yeah. Gideon, a judge, but he was a moral authority. Mm -hmm. Amen. Able to uh, dissolve the spirits. You know, you know, you that's the people, man, that's so messy. Amen. <laughs> they ain't talking about dissolving nothing. They just want to hear. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Discord souls. I'm gonna tell the truth today. Yeah, They're discord souls. Yeah. They couldn't get on the web. Despite out your liberty. Hallelujah. Because I'm a demon chaser. I know. Amen. They come to spy out your liberty. You got too many little pastors. Mm. And they ain't watching for your soul. They just watching for your cake pocketbook. <laughs> you start, when you start agreeing, when you start paying, they don't hear you no more. Fair weather friends. Huh? Amen. But Gideon heard from the angel. And he delivered his people. Because he embraced good instruction. Oh, yes. He kind of embraced it. With a, a picture. Uh, and a torch in the picture. And a bugle. And all he did was to tell them sound the bugle and then take the, the, the picture with the torch in it and throw it on the ground. And it confused the enemy. They didn't have to pick up one sword. Not one sword. The enemy began to kill themselves. Read your book. Hmm. You don't have to put no blood on your hands. Amen. Keep the blood out of your hands. They're going to kill themselves. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. They don't have to say unkind words. They're going to defeat themselves. Come on, church. Hallelujah. What you got to do, I say, wait. Lord. Yeah. And be a good curse. Yeah. Yeah. Because pain ain't coming. Yeah. 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 I'm Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Lord. For those who are not in the army of the Lord, 
He said, today you hear my voice hard, not your heart. Don't reject it. No, I'm not an angel, but I'm speaking in the stead of God. Except a man be born again of the water and the spirit, they shall no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. And everybody that I know that was the disciple of Jesus, baptized in Jesus' name. Come on, church. Hallelujah. For the remission of their sins. And then something happened. Something miraculously happened. They began to speak with unknown tongues as the Spirit of God gave them utterance. Mm -hmm. Now, flesh and blood is not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. I've, I've, I've almost stopped going to funerals. Because we are trying to still put people in heaven that have not gone through the process. But I'm here today to speak truth. Because you see, truth is what makes you free. Amen. Not covering it up. Sure. Not putting icing on it. Right. Truth. Mm. Except a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Yes. Hallelujah. And so I am making an appeal yes. to the virtual audience, to the audience that are here today. The day you hear my voice, he said, harden not your heart. For this is the day of your salvation. Come. And we will baptize you today, not on the 1st, not on the 15th or the 30th, but we will baptize you today in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. Hallelujah. This is what we preach down here, 5 to 5 North Market Street. Holiness. Amen. For without no man shall see him. Come, we will baptize you in Jesus' name today. Amen. Sometimes pride gets in our way. We, we don't want people to know. But let me tell you something. When you want to be saved, when you want to be rescued, you don't care if he's white, black, green, yellow. You just want to be rescued. Get me out of my situation. You don't care what color he is. Oh, sir, are, are you black? Before I, before I become rescued? No. No. I just want to be saved. I want to be saved, church. See, see, see. Not just religious. But hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hope. Amen. Thank you, Lord. This is your opportunity. We will. I promise you, we will baptize you in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. If you come down today, Pastor Fights will stay over. I will come to you in Jesus' name. We're sincere about this thing. This, this, this is, listen, time is winding up. I don't care who you are. I don't care what kind of job you got. You're going to die. You're going to die as sure as the light is of the world. And at the death, judgment. Folks don't talk like that no more. No, we got the pie in the sky. We, we got all the time more. No, you don't. We're living in the sixth dispensation. God deals with time. Time is dispensations. We are in grace and truth. After that is kingdom. That's eternal life. Amen. Hmm. We're serious. Are you serious? Thank God for you. The sight in the sight of the Lord. In the sight of the Lord. Amen. And 
you don't know one monkey, stop the show. We thank God for our visitors. Amen. I just believe that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. Yes. Amen. 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 For your sake. Be encouraged, church. Uh, we're going to start our um, consecration tomorrow. I know it's the 4th of July. But this is not going to stop God. Right. We need some help. Amen. On the 4th of July. On the 4th of July. Amen. And so uh, we're going to counsel all week long and then the next week we're going to fast and pray all week long. And for those who I know are baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, we will serve you communion uh, on Friday evening at 7.30. Amen. In Jesus' name. We thank God for you today, our visitors and all of our virtual friends and relatives, and I'm hearing that we're all over the world now. I, I just, it's just an, amazing to know that. But we're all over in these other countries. My brothers and sisters over there, we love you. We are praying for you. Yes. God Amen. bless you to the bone. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And remember this, whatever you do. And wherever you go. Take Jesus with you. God bless you. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen.